Hi, this is Dean from Sentinel Candles. In today's project, I'm going to be making a pineapple and fresh mango loaf. So previously, I tried to make some pineapple shaped embeds. Unfortunately, I made them in clear and then I put clear over the top of them. So I thought I could see them, but unfortunately they haven't turned out. This is how it was meant to turn out. So what I'm going to do is cut these in half. So the back part is goat's milk soap and the front is clear. I'm going to separate the clear from the goat's milk. I'm going to put the goat's milk together and the clear together. So then I'm going to color the goat's milk will be yellow and the clear will be orange. And I'm going to be using liquid dyes. The fragrance is pineapple and fresh mango. So let's get started. So as this has turned out, there was 215 grams of goat's milk. So I've added 335, which should give me 550. And for the clear, there was 243 grams. So I'm adding an extra 307 to make 550. And that should fill the loaf. So my base is melted down and I've scented it with pineapple and a few drops of yellow. And now I'm gonna pour it into the mold. Now I thought about different ways that I could do this, but I think it's straight up. I'm gonna pour it in, pour the other one in over the top. So at the moment the yellow and the orange they're too similar and I believe that they would just merge if I poured them in at the same time so here we go okay so I'm just going to spray that okay so I'm going to let that set a little bit and pour the other one in over the top okay so I poured the last part in but I didn't realize that the camera wasn't recording so I didn't get it on camera I poured it in to the point where it was gonna make a swirl within probably a centimeter of hitting the the last layer so hopefully tomorrow when I unmold it there'll be like a little swirl in the center so normally I wait overnight before I unmold but I think this one's okay it's been about six hours and I've had some plastic wrap on top just to cover it so it doesn't sweat. And it's cold to the touch, so I'm thinking it's okay to cut. So I'm going to pop it out. This is the first time I've ever done this. Usually I wait overnight to do it, but I'm going to pop this out and see what it looks like. Alright, yes, the colours did tend to blend together, as you can see. When I poured it, which wasn't actually on film, I thought it was, I poured it and I didn't really want it to go too far down, but I needed it to bond with the other layer. I think that's all right. We'll see what it looks like when I cut it up. Okay, so this is pineapple and fresh mango. The bottom part is pineapple and the top is fresh mango. I put in a, a little swirl in there just to give it some character rather than it just being a straight line. And also I needed them to bond together, so it came out pretty well. So the yellow at the bottom didn't come out as bright as I thought it should. And, and I was hoping as well. In this particular one, I was gonna make the orange the clear and the yellow the top. Uh, unfortunately, I'd already put in the dyes and then I realized that I'd made a mistake, so I had to do it this way. But all in all, I'm really happy with the results. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.